Do you know what I learned today? Actually, when I was making this video, is that ChatGPT has not even been around for one year. Think about since it came out and when it was released in November of 2022. All the technologies, all the companies that have exploded because it came out. Think about the jobs that have been lost. Think about the jobs that have been created. It has revolutionized the tech industry, our entire world as we know it. And this is just the beginning. In today's video, I'm going to share with you why one-dimensional careers will no longer work. They will actually do the opposite and fail. If you are looking to fail at your career, not grow in your career, don't watch this video. If you are looking to continue to grow and evolve with tech and also in your career and role, let's get into it. But first, we need to talk about the evolution of the job market. There's no denying that tech and AI is really a double-edged sword. On one hand, it is creating so many jobs. On the other hand, it is going to be taking, and already is taking away, so many jobs. For instance, some jobs that didn't even exist or hardly existed a year ago include roles like AI ethics officers, chatbot scriptwriters, and autonomous vehicle engineers. I hardly even know what they do nowadays, let alone a few years ago. There are so many roles like that that will continue to come out of the age of AI. A recent stat by Gartner shared that AI is going to be creating 2.3 million jobs but then on the flip side to this sword, eliminating 1.8 million. Now that's kind of when you balance it out, yes, it's creating more, but it's important to know it's not an equation that just, okay, there's still more jobs and that are being taken away, everyone's gonna be fine. A lot of the people who are losing their jobs maybe aren't capable as much, you could say they are capable, but not as much to quickly upskill. I think one thing we take for granted as individuals who are in the tech industry or going in the tech industry is how we go, oh, we'll just upskill, we'll continue to learn, continue to build. But that's because that's really how we have been trained to continue to be able to evolve quickly, grow quickly, which is an amazing skill, but it's not something that everyone possesses. One big trend in the industry that's been happening now for quite a while is remote work. And yes, we are seeing more offices say back to office, you need to come into office, but the reality is there are still more remote jobs than there really has ever been at another time. I'm not talking about, you know, tw early 2020 kind of times, but in general. And what that does is it eliminates so many barriers for you to be able to get into tech or grow your career, even if you aren't located in a city that has big tech offerings. So you can work at now Facebook, you can work at Amazon, Google, whatever company you want while doing so remotely. And I know some of them require you to go back into office, but you get my point. Now more than ever, you are able to choose where you want to work from where you want to work. Now, before we go any further, let's define what exactly is a one-dimensional career. This whole video is around them becoming non-existent in the future, but how do we define it? You can think of one dimensional careers as careers that are really built upon one singular skill set or a narrow list field of expertise. And in the past, careers like this maybe would have been acceptable. Actually, scratch that, not were maybe acceptable. They were acceptable and oftentimes they thrived. Think about actually the early days in the tech industry. I remember even when, uh, about seven years ago, when I was first getting into tech, six, seven years ago, Singularity, having this very specific skill set, was more demand and popular than ever. There were programmers who focused on a very specific set of technology, and they could have as much attitude, they could have as much, I don't want to talk to you, anything they wanted, they got. Why? Because they had this knowledge and skill set that hardly anyone else possessed. Those days are gone. Now, there's still some use cases for that. I'm not saying it's completely gone, but it will continue to be less and less of that for many reasons, especially because tech is becoming more accessible than ever. Nowadays, it is easier than ever to learn how to code. It's easier than ever to break into tech and start growing a career in this field. And with more people getting into the industry, and it's still so strange to me saying industry because tech is something that, yes, it's its own industry, but it's something that touches every industry. And that's why no matter what, it's the one bet you can make that it will continue to grow because fashion needs tech, sports need tech, entertainment needs tech, all of these different industries need technology. And they need not only technical roles within them, but also to the soft skill roles. They need product managers. They need different kind of IT experts to varying degrees. But with the demand for more tech individuals, tech professionals needed, what has happened is 
and it being easier than ever to get into the industry, you now have so much more competition. And what that does is it opens the door for not being able to have this one dimensional career where you don't have to work on your soft skills because you have technical skills or you don't have to build your technical skills because you have a really strong soft skill. You need to continue to evolve. There was a really interesting study that recently came out and it was by Burning Glass Technology who researched and found that jobs requiring multidisciplinary skills are growing three times faster than other jobs. Three times faster. I mean, if you are looking for jobs Job security, this is it. All right, I really wanted to do this video, you know, taking a step back because I experienced firsthand the importance of evolving and growing in your career. I started out my career, as many of you know, completely not in tech. I was in fashion. And then when I transitioned into tech, I thought, I want to be a coder, I want to be an engineer, and this is it. I don't want to talk to people, I don't want to do public speaking, I don't want to do anything else but purely code, which is fantastic. And there are so many great opportunities if that sounds like you. I do think though it will become harder and harder to really grow a very successful career if you have that one dimensional mindset, whether it's coding or a different skill. Nowadays, you really need to be at least open to building other skill sets. And for me, going back to my situation, when I was able to take a step back after a few years of being professionally a developer, I realized, you know what, there are so many other skill sets I have that I kind of want to lean into. I still want to continue to code and that is extremely important, but can I do that with other skill sets as well? And for me, what that looked like was going into developer relations, developer advocacy. So getting to mix the coding and technology side of things with the public speaking, education, tutorial side of things, that community building side of things, getting to merge both worlds. And that to me was the best because I got to lean in on multiple skill sets. Now maybe to you, you think that sounds horrible and it's not the job for you, but there are so many other roles, even if you stay in the engineering, solely the software engineering role, that you should be tapping into other, other parts of you than just your coding side. Maybe it's you start public speaking or doing presentations on coding, whatever the case may be. And I really wanted to highlight that because if we have the mindset of staying where we are and not willing to grow or evolve past our current role, you will get left behind. Tech is moving so fast. AI is just enhancing that and it's not going anywhere. I know this saying is kind of overused, but it's really true, which says that the AI models, the models that AI is used, the models that train AI today are the worst they will ever be. When you think about that, it's pretty mind blowing. Technology is the worst it will ever be today. Imagine in a few years from now, I mean, ChatGPT came out, what, this November will be two years, I think? When did ChatGPT come out? I'm Googling this. 2020. This November will be one year? I can't believe it's been under a year since ChatGPT came out. Think about in this past year since ChatGPT came out, all the technologies that have come out, all the jobs that have been lost, but all the jobs that have been created. I'm kind of mind blown right now. Like take a step back and think about that. I mean, going back to my point as to why this video was so crucial for me to make is because now more than ever, we cannot stay comfortable within our current roles. What you are doing today, technical or soft skill wise, in a few years from now is going to look extraordinarily different. So why not be on the side that continues to grow and learn and evolve? How do we do that? Oh, it's me. I guess I'm answering my own question here. We do that through continuing to learn and having a growth mindset. Some of my favorite ways to do this is through staying up to date with tech. And one way to do that is Shameless, shameless, shameless self-promotion. Follow me as I'm obsessed with staying up to date with tech. But no, in reality or actuality, some of the best ways that I stay up to date with tech include subscribing to some of my favorite newsletters, which I'll share here with you. Also includes going on Medium, medium.com, and just sifting through tech articles. I'm not saying this is going to revolutionize your, the way you think of tech or change your ability to learn overnight, but for me what it did is it keeps me up to date as to what is really trending, not only short term, but long term. For example, with now with AI being everywhere, we can see the way it is trending and the way companies are coming out of it, it's not a fad. It is not going anywhere. So if you are looking for a safe bet to make when it comes to spending time learning something new, anything under that umbrella is a pretty safe bet. Whereas there are some other technologies we see that really fluctuate, come and go. We saw this with NFTs and 
um, many other different technologies throughout the years and those are Yes, they are still there and they are still important to varying degrees, but they might not have as big of an impact on someone's career who is looking to grow it long term. So really staying up to date and understanding tech trends and noticing them when they stay around and continue to evolve. And that's where you should be putting your learnings to. Another way, which is so key, and I know a lot of us don't like doing it, or maybe I just say that all the time, but I'm the only one who doesn't like doing it. Do you like networking? I love what networking does. I love the end result of networking, which means I meet some really awesome people, I get to connect with people, learn from them. The actual process of getting through it can kind of be painful. I like doing different remote communities. I think that's a really accessible and easy way to do so, but building that network of yours, building, having different mentors to who have been around in the industry for a while is another great way to really ensure you are putting your focus where it needs to be. More than anything though, more than anything I can ever share with you or teach you through my experience working in tech and studying tech so I mean, every day is just your willingness, just having that willingness and open-mindedness to keep on learning, to have that growth mindset. If your manager asks you to do something which is totally out of your job, uh, responsibilities, not overworking you, but maybe it's just they, they're giving you an opportunity to do something different. Why not give it a try? Why not try doing something outside of your comfort zone? The worst that happens is you realize it's not for you and you don't like it. All right, you heard it here first, folks. My prediction is that the current job you are in today, current role you are in today, you will not be in in four years from now, five years from now. It is moving so quickly that what we have today and the roles, the responsibilities within these roles will continue to evolve. So let's evolve together with them. All right, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my, just me pouring out my thoughts and information around this evolution of career and gone are the days, our parents' generation where it was, you know, they secure a job, they work at the same company for their entire career in the same role for their entire career. They might get a, you know, a title bump to senior or manager, but really they're focused on the same knowledge and that is their career. Gone are those days. One day you might be a software engineer and I predict in five, 10 years from now, maybe you are doing a job that doesn't even exist today. The possibilities are really endless. All right, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech, future tech, coding, career related videos, and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.